Next up, Firestarter Tier 2 Act 3. In this we need to ignite 50 zombies with the Napalm Burst Ammo Mod and ignite 5 special zombies with it. It's super simple. All you need to do is open up your map, then navigate across to Invested Strongholds or Aether Nests. Simply clear them out by shooting all of the different cysts inside of them and eventually the crystal chest slash chests inside will unlock and give you some spoils of war. Now, in this chest you can find weapon mods and there's quite a few flavors but the one that you're looking for is this one here, Napalm Burst. All you need to do is click on it to activate it when you find it in a chest and once you've done so, all you need to do is find some zombies and just spray them down. Eventually when zombies ignite, that's it. You've got the random proc slash chance done and that's the main Thing about this mission. It's just spam a bunch of zombies and spam a bunch of special zombies. Now here's the thing. Finding this is super difficult, at least if you're unlucky. For me it took me multiple hours to find certain mods when I'm looking for them. Other times I pick up a bunch while I'm in a game and keep them in my inventory for as long as possible so that when I load into another one I just happen to have them. Anyways, a great way to find tons of zombies is to do certain missions like such as the escort mission here that spawns in tons and tons of zombies. But we can can also head to an exfil, call it in, and simply kite all of the zombies together to spam them all at once. It doesn't really matter how fast or slow you do this, it's just a numbers game really. Oh, and also, not to mention, if you have a Pack-a-Punch level 1, 2, or possibly 3 gun with this ammo mod on it, and you happen to instant kill zombies, you can still get your random hit done and ignite them on fire, even if it's for a microsecond. Anyways, you can get this done with no matter the power of your weapon. You can use lower power weapons just to shoot zombies a lot more, such as in the chest, in order to try and get more hits and possibly possibly get the fire to pop more often with fewer zombies, but ultimately that doesn't really matter, except for maybe with specials. What you do want to do, however, is focus on getting your special zombie ignites, as that's just a little bit more difficult. If we do escort missions, it'll probably spawn in one, maybe two manglers. Those are those tall robot zombies that shoot out explosions. If you search through infested strongholds, you can oftentimes find mimics, which pretend to be chests and jump out as soon as you get close to them. And finally, the disciples you usually find around the level 2 slash 3 area. That's really it. If you're looking for specials, the best thing you can do is roam around the level 2 zombie area near the center of the map here and just go through some aether nest slash portals. You'll find lots of special zombies very quickly. Anyways, for now, spraying into large groups. We're already at 11, but you don't really need to focus on getting your zombie kills. There we go, there was a big mangler, but we didn't get the random proc, so it didn't count. Even though this mangler is way too high of a tomb, at least I can still light it on fire and continue. So hey, there's something. I don't know why we're in a tier 3 area, but my teammates took me here, so here we are. I did not ask for this. And well, I'm not too sure why we were dragged here anyways, but we got some progress. Now we just need to spend probably an hour finding this thing again because, well, this game really enjoys throwing you here for some reason. Well, hopping into a new game, we simply need to find this mod once more. This could take two minutes or half an hour. We'll have to see. And finally, after about four of these things, we finally got a napalm burst ammo. So I'll take this and now we can continue with this mission. Unfortunately, we've already killed a whole bunch of manglers and things like that. But I suppose going through another nether fortress or whatever won't really harm us. It should be simple enough to do. So I'll knock the next nether fortress or vested stronghold. We'll head over there and do that one as well. Hopefully there'll be a big boy that spawns somewhere in it or somewhere nearby. There was in fact a mangler and a mimic inside of the infested stronghold that I just did. So there'll probably be at least one thing in here. Being inside of tier two zones definitely helps a lot more of these special enemies spawn in. Clearing out the stronghold, there's not too much going on, unfortunately, but at least we're getting some more of these zombie ignites done as well. This last orb, hmm. or at least that last one. There wasn't a mangler that spawned here, unfortunately, but there wasn't any kind of a special zombie that spawned here, but I'm sure we can find one somewhere. Oh, and hey, would you look at that? Another one. I think I'll keep this just in case we need it. And as we've already used the Shadow Blast, I'll take maybe dead wire. Maybe it'll be useful sometime in the future. But of course, making sure not to replace what we already have. All right, on to the next one. We can do a raid weapon stash. I think this will probably call in a few higher value zombies. So let's pick it up and see if we can do that. And I'm pretty sure much like the previous one that we did, we can probably ignite special zombies multiple times if they happen to survive the first volley. It's just certain things like brain rot. You can only do once per zombie. Anyways, I can already hear a mangler in here somewhere. So we'll spray his chest area until he eventually ignites. And I don't think he did, sadly. 
yeah, still only two out of five. I doubt we'll see another special zombie. Yeah, not here. But at least we're done with these zombie kills. So that's pretty good. Whether I'll pack a bunch of this to level two, I don't think so. I think I'll instead pack a bunch of my alternate gun here. So bang, there we go. Checking the safe. No, nothing useful in there. On to the next one. So a stronghold over here. We should find probably two special zombies in there if we're lucky. And I can already hear a mangler outside. So that is good. Maybe we can get them as well. I think they'll probably try and come upstairs. Yeah, they're upstairs already. We can catch them up here. Spraying the chest area. I think we ignited at once. Yes, we did. Also, we'll wait for him to go out. Plus a few seconds. If he does go out, that is. There we go. We'll wait a few seconds. Avoid that. Or not avoid that, I suppose. We'll go again. And he ignited a second time. And it did count a second time too. Sweet. There we go. So we've already got two done using just one in one special zombie, which is great. Now to just finish off the stronghold and hopefully get another one. Right, so that's it for here. I don't think we'll get another one. But maybe one of these chests will turn into a mimic like anything here so we'll just go for another one i'm pretty sure hvts don't count towards this sadly so i'll just avoid that one for now maybe we can do the eighth nest up here we are quite literally just one away from being done nothing here so we'll continue on our way we'll go through the next stronghold here and i already hear a mangler there he is so let's quickly hopefully get the proc which i think we got now and yes yes we did we finished with this mission so hopefully you found this video useful thank you for watching my name has been troubleshoot and i'll see you all next time ciao